In from Dempsey. And it's gone in. Dunfran will have the lead. It's Andrea Skerla, a looping header, which didn't look to be too menacing, but it found that its way. Dunfran, a little bonus of a corner kick they weren't expecting. Gary Dempsey plays it in. There were a lot of white shirts jumping for the ball. Celtic get it away, and it Larson's on his own, but he's through as Labonte stumbles. Larson squares the game. His final competitive match in a Celtic shirt, and that is his 241st career goal. It's 1-1 at Hamden. Well, this is quite incredible. This comes from a corner from Dunfermline. So, a straight ball at the park, great weighted pass from Chris Sutton. Just great power and his strength. And you expect anything else from him, man? What a fantastic finish his right foot. Ross Wallace enjoyed it alongside Martin O'Neill. Just pass away to Lennon. Sutton. Now Thompson. Larson, the receiver, turning away from Labon. He's done it again. Absolutely incredible. Larson's leaving party may now be complete. Two for him. It's 2-1 Celtic. Great ball. He had great upper body strength. Goals his player. His marker there. That was his left foot this time. He shows you the class of the man. Brewster had it for a moment, then lost it. They're looking pretty bedraggled at the moment, then firmly. A Gats cross. Came off the head of Lee Bullen, didn't know much about it. Wallace squares it. Stylian Petra for 3-1. That's the goal which ensures the Scottish Cup is going to be in Celtic hands. Six and a half minutes from full-time, Petrov scores his 10th goal of the season, all the composure you would want in this sort of situation. Yeah, good delivery from a guy to the back second, a wee bit unfortunately, Bullen hits off the back of his head, thinks he's going to drop over. This is their 61st game of the season. There are some tired legs there, but they push and push themselves to the limit and beyond. The First Minister, Jack McConnell, will hand over the old trophy. It's a League and Cup double for Celtic. The Tenet Scottish Cup is theirs. It's the 32nd time that Celtic have been Scottish Cup winners. And that takes them above Rangers now in the all-time honours list. They're the best in Scotland by a distance and the challenge is there for the rest to try to close the gap where is that cup going? Didier Gatt gives the supporters a closer look six trophies in four glorious years for a Celtic manager